Hey everyone, in this video we are going to uh, work on how to decide whether a given table uh, represents a linear equation, an exponential equation, or a quadratic equation or function. So I like this because it, it's about patterns uh, and it doesn't require a lot of thinking or work to do. So let's get started. So we are working on IXL Algebra 1 CC4, identify linear, quadratic, and exponential functions from tables. So the first question says, is this function linear, quadratic, or exponential? It gives us uh, five different x values, five different y values. So all we have to do is subtracting the y values. That's the first step. So the we are going to try to see a pattern when we do that subtraction. So when we subtract 20 and 10, uh, subtract 10 from 20, you get 10. Subtract 20 from 40, you get 20. Do the same and the same. Now, if these numbers are not equal, if these numbers are equal to each other, then we have a linear function. But they're not equal. Now, there's this second step. At this point, we have two different options. I see which one it's going to be, so I will go with that option. So uh, that option is subtracting these numbers. Subtract 10 from 20, you get 10. Subtract. I thought I saw the uh, <laughs> pattern. I didn't. It's the other option. So now check if you see any pattern between these numbers. So each numbers, like the first number is half of the second one, the second one is half of the third one, or 20 is 2 times 10, 40 is 2 times 20, 80 is 2 times 40. If this is your pattern, then you have an exponential function, okay? If the difference, if the set of differences that you figure it out after your first step has a uh, multiplication relationship then you are dealing with an exponential function it's powers of twos every single time so let's submit this and see what other options we can end up with now do the same thing subtract these two numbers you get okay let's just I want to see if I can subtract the second number from the first number, uh, it'll work f if it's linear all the time, but let's just test it out. Oh my bad, that's not 11, that's 9. Math teacher doesn't know how to subtract numbers. Okay, uh, let's just, come on. Okay, so 82 minus 73 is 9, 73 minus 64 is 9, same pattern and same pattern. If that difference is the same at the first step, then you have a linear function. Let's do the same for this. The difference between these two is 24. Subtract these two. Ah, okay. 72, subtract these two. Don't do this to me. Come on now. I, I need a calculator. Okay. I feel like my student right now. Okay. Uh, 324 minus 108. 216. Okay. You see the pattern in here? Look at the next step. Let me change the color. I don't want to subtract the next set of numbers because I see what's going on. This is times 3. That's times 3. I know that this is going to be times 3 because we only have 3 options. So this is going to be exponential because, again, when you subtract the first set of y values, if there's a multiplication relationship between what you end up, then that's called an exponential function. Okay. The difference between these two is 9. The difference between these two is 15. The difference between these two is ugh. really 
21. Remember, the difference between these two is... What am I doing? That's not 23. That's 27. Okay. Now, this is the other option that I didn't get to show you, which is a quadratic function. Now, once you find those differences, uh, if you don't see a multiplication relationship, like what times 9 is 15? Or what times 15 is 21? There's no such relationship. So your second bet is subtract those numbers again. So that's 6, this is 6, and this is 6. So if the difference of the second pattern is the same, uh, second set of y values is the same, then you have a quadratic function. Right here, this is, I see that this is exponential without doing any work. So subtract these two. Subtract these two and these and these. That's times two times two and then times two. Okay, let's skip a level. Uh, I don't want to deal with these numbers. <laughs> you need a calculator. I just don't want to use a calculator. But just for you, let's just let's just do this question. I don't think I need a calculator for this. You subtract these two. It's two. So the difference is the same for all of them. So that means we have a linear function. I think that's pretty much it. Yep. So that's how you decide whether you have a linear quadratic or an exponential function if a table of value is given. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, guys, and comment below if you think that this video helped you out to get your assignment done. And I will see you in another video.